Waverley Hall is one of Mencap's day centres. Uh, it's a place for people with learning disabilities to go to during the day, uh, we give them activities, meaningful things to do. We've got upstairs, which is the day service. Uh, 40 people a day come there. Um, take part in a lot of different activities. We look at things to help people live independently. We help with trips out, um, people go out and about doing social activities. And then we do lots of things like arts and crafts and music and cooking, things like that. My name is George Furnish. I work in the cafe with uh, three other um, trainees to learn to do Anstad and stuff like that. Learn to do cooking, baking, serving customers. It helps me out my confidence and stuff like that to get out more and enjoy more in life and stuff like that. They come here and they're here for six months and it's generally one day a week. Mm -hmm. And half a day doing the Asdan paperwork if they're doing that half a day, doing practical. They start by doing catering, you know, making the cakes and things because they don't always feel like talking to people straight away because of the nerves. Then they go on to making drinks, then they go on to the till, then they go on to serving at the table. And it, it just confidence increases on a weekly basis. You, really, you can really feel it come in. And, in the end, they're doing what we do, and we can step back and let them do it. I did it voluntary to start with at first, I did it voluntary. And then, when uh, my story said, from now on, you're going to start getting paid every week, you know, every every Friday, you go over there. So I thought, yeah, that's okay, then. I thought, yeah, that's better. You know, and I enjoy getting paid, yeah, I enjoy doing, you know, doing my work every Friday. And um, I do. Uh, I think, it, I think it's very good to get paid, yeah. My name's John Fletcher, I'm a, I'm a support worker, but I work at the cafe one day a week as a, an employee for MenCap. We provide a service for this hospital, you know, providing food and drinks for the employees of the hospital and visitors, and sometimes the patients. The one day a week I do here, it, it, it might be a different trainee every time, depending on what day I do. Um, the, the trainees have actually usually passed their ASDAN qualification, so this is then a placement for the trainees to be able to put the work experience onto the CVs, to gain confidence with, with, with us professionals who have both got the support work, care work and also our qualifications in the catering industry as well, to provide, provide a good solid base for, for going out and and possibly joining the workforce in the catering industry. Um, you know, everybody's got their own capabilities. You try and push the boundaries of their capabilities. And, and also, but if they're comfortable doing one certain thing and they don't really want to or are unable to do an, another thing, such as working the tills, usually one that not everybody's comfortable with, myself included sometimes. It's like, you know, people have got their own strengths and weaknesses and we try and go for the strengths. I've worked here for three months um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, I get to um, make teas, coffee, um, you know, interact with the um, customers. I would say my confidence has gone up um, now that I'm interacting more with um, customers and people, so yeah, I get really good experience. The staff are just amazing. First of all, they're very friendly and welcoming, and that's equally to volunteers and to the trainees and the members of the public. Cause it's a cafe, and they, uh, people come in every day for snacks and drinks. Um, they're very supportive, both to me personally and to all the trainees. We do have fun but it is a serious environment as well because trainees are here to learn skills and to get a qualification and the staff work very very hard to make sure that the trainees leave with that qualification. Well, I'm Catherine, Noah, Division, I work here Tuesday morning but I have many cakes. I enjoyed making the cakes, then I enjoyed all my books and draw, then I like to uh, dance in and uh, I like to walk in. Then I drive here, I job and I'm my friends and laugh and for fun. We get to know the families as well. We encourage a three way interaction between ourselves, the trainees and the families so they can come in at any time and see what we're doing and any time to talk to us about any concerns. I was one of the first trainees on the course. It was really it was a good course, I enjoyed it, gained a lot in confidence. 
I also went over and worked at the uh, Poppies Cafe in the Home Faith Hospital. I got for work in at Waver Cafe, lots of confidence, skills that I could take away and use at real employment, a uh, good qualification and made some good friends. It's, it's good, it's good to see different people on the same course and help them, support them. There's always challenges around funding, you know, we've got to make do with the money we've got. We started off with a, um, some money from the Masons which allowed us to set the kitchen up and buy a lot of equipment and then Kirklees Council, it's a bit of Kirklees Council called Community Partnerships, they gave us some, some more money. <laughs> uh, to um, to basically employ some staff to get it started. I see. <laughs> um, uh, to, to employ some staff to get it started. Uh, that funding lasted for a little while and then we were successful in getting funding from the National Lottery. It's their Reaching Communities Fund that try and help projects in the community. So uh, they funded us, uh, we started about a year and a half ago, and they funded us five years. So, um, it's like, let us employ the staff, let us register all the trainees for their ASDAN and then you know, support them from there. It's really good to have been involved in getting this going, you know, from when we first thought of the idea and you know, built on and then got the five years of funding. It's really good that we can help a lot of people. A lot of the people we support can't access other services um, and they can come here and it gets them out of their house and gives them something to do that's worthwhile. Best thing's contact with the people we support. It's it's great to come to a workplace with a lot of people that are keen to see you, well happy to see you and you know, to actually make a difference, to, to put things on, like we put on nightclub trips and um, you know, discos and things. It's lovely to see people enjoying enjoying themselves. It's not about disability, it's about ability here. And we all love our jobs. Thank you.